It's fun and it's funky, but more importantly, it's affordable. On this edition of Test Drive, the Nissan Kicks. With every manufacturer jumping on the compact crossover bandwagon, it did not take Nissan long to join the fray. The Kicks is the latest of what promises to be a slew of new entries. Where it differs from most is that it is both funky, as is witnessed by the inclusion of a Bose speaker in the driver's headrest, and it has a degree of road presence, especially the full Zoot SR model and its two-tone paint scheme. The cabin of this Kicks picks up on the exterior style. It's actually got quite a lot of personality in here, but more importantly, it's got all the right tech stuff. You've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but more importantly, it comes with all the right safety equipment. Blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert and intelligent auto braking. Now that lot combined is more than you get on some more expensive cars. <laughs> The Kicks is powered by a 1.6-litre four-cylinder engine that pushes 125 horsepower and 115 pound-feet of torque through a continuously variable transmission and the front wheels. This is one of the real disappointments. There is no all-wheel drive version. That aside, the engine and transmission combine to produce a reasonable work ethic and little in the way of the usual motor boating under hard acceleration. The CVT uses preset ratios when the gas is matted to quell the usual racket. It also has a sport mode. Sadly, it did little other than make the engine louder. Now this little kicks really isn't that quick. It'll take about 10.2 seconds to get to 100K. However, it feels faster than the clock says, so it's up to every day running around. The solace in all of this, however, is found in the fuel economy. We got a test average of 7.2 liters per 100 kilometers, which is pretty darn good. The Kicks is based on the Versa Note, but it gets a wider track and an extra 20 millimeters in the wheelbase. The expanded dimensions improve the nature of the drive. In fact, about the only place Nissan shaves some noticeable dollars is found in the fact it has rear drum brakes. Now for a compact vehicle, this little Kicks has actually got quite a lot of space. With the seats upright, there's 716 litres, and if you fold them down, that number grows to 1,504 litres. The only nit is that when the seats are folded flat, the floor is not. The Kicks uses a pretty basic suspension setup with struts up front and a twist beam holding up the back end. Surprisingly, the combination delivered a degree of composure I did not expect. Even when it was pushed through the pylons, there was minimal body roll. It is far from sporty, but it rides well with surprisingly little chop over broken pavement. The steering helps matters by chipping in with some real feel and feedback. Now this Nissan Kicks isn't the perfect crossover. You can't get all-wheel drive and it's not the fastest on the block. Having said that, as a package, it's great fun to drive, it's got all the right safety equipment, it handles very nicely and it's got a very nice interior. But most importantly, it's affordable. <laughs>